Well, hello, my friends. Look at my desk. It's full of yummy goodness from the thrift store. I'm going to open this for you right now. Okay, so I just grabbed the bag and I'm going to start pulling stuff out um, and share with you <laughs> what I got. Okay, I got this wreath form for 79 cents because even though you can get these at the Dollar Tree, obviously at the Dollar Tree, they're $1.25. So that was definitely a, a good deal. And I'm going to have to drop stuff next to me here. Then check out this O. It's actually an O. It was $1.99, but um, to me, it looked like a frame, right? I think it's supposed to be the letter O. It's already really nicely distressed and what have you. So I think if I put like maybe like um, even like a doily <laughs> or uh, some sort of... Uh, what do you call that crochet not crocheted but embroidery oh my goodness that would be cool all right sorry i'll try to go faster in the next few items why in the world did you get a knife block maria because it was 79 cents it's a piece of wood and i can cover the holes and do something with it it could also be used as a riser um i've been doing auctions and sometimes it's nice to have items that you can place you know in tiers so um for all those reasons a nice block of wood for 79 cents i thought was worth it then uh, I couldn't resist the bag of toys. Why, Maria? Because I am a big kid. So let me get you closer and see what I got for 99 cents. It looks like maybe some um, Barbie or a little... Yeah, okay. So this is LOL, a little hairbrush. Ew, bonus hair. <laughs> Hopefully it's adult hair. And um, this one, I don't know from where, but look how cute that is. Those look like poinsettias almost. I mean, that is a really cute little brush, and it's got, you know, it's wonky, the little um, bristles. Here's another cute one, just a little dirty. And then some shoes. They look like Barbie shoes, but I don't know. Let's see if they're branded. Can you do zoom, zoom, zoom? I don't know. I can't see. Um, yeah, it is. It has the B for Barbie on them. I don't know if it's going to focus or not. So anyway, that's cute. I can make a lot of little Barbie stuff and always, you know um sell that in one of my venues there's a little piece of pizza i want to say stuck in one of these shoes a little triangle anyway i don't know why i'm thinking pizza am i hungry already it's just a triangle a little wooden triangle and i don't know who these shoes belong to i want to say it might be you know that little doctor girl is that who they belong to um these shoes remind me of her but i don't know and then this is kind of what got me to decide to get them these cute little look at this little guy he is i think a pony mermaid i don't know if it's a little pony brand i'll have to look for the little mark and he's a little dirty but i thought she was so cute i said he and then she okay and then there's a little dog and i cannot resist doggies and these can also be used in craft projects as well as these cuties i think that's a little lol girl and i'm not sure what this is but it's so cute is that a llama oh my goodness it's a little angel llama how adorable i didn't even realize that i think that's what it is that's what i'm saying it is a little comb a little syringe yeah see doc mcstuffins that's what i'm thinking and a little purse which again i don't know who it belongs to and a, and a little like throne sofa for 99 cents i thought that was all really cute and I will figure something to do with the items or I will, you know, pay them forward. For $149, I wanted to check out what these um, dominoes were. They were nature dominoes. I didn't open it, but it's only $1.49. And I thought even the wooden box is worth that. So sorry about the noise. And nature dominoes. Let's check them out together. Okay. Oh, how cute. Just like these pictures. <gasps> this is adorable. Now it says Grace on the side. I'm thinking maybe that was the child's name. But how cute are these? So they're not real. Yeah, they are wood. I was going to say they're maybe pressed wood. This side looks like pressed wood, but the side looks like wood wood. <laughs> so this is what they are. How cute is that? So I'm going, I'm not going to go over every one. Basically, you see that the pictures look kind of like the ones on the box there. Let me see if I can get it all back in like this. Wouldn't that be something? 
nope i'm not gonna do it it's gonna take me more time to try to do that so maybe let me just show you like this real quick how cute yeah so these i mean this is just a nice little uh toy as it is for a dollar 49 or i can certainly use the wood blocks for um crafting you know you can use these pieces just as you know little elements in making you know i don't know all kinds of things boxes dividers and then the box itself could be used for something else or like i said just as it is it's a really cute toy so there we go nature dominoes i think that was worth dollar fifty so let me see if i can get this to close now yep easy peasy awesome sauce okay so there's that. Then I picked up this set of doll stands because, let's see, at $1.99, it basically fell uh, or came to 50 cents each. It's actually three doll stands. And, ooh, that was a little bent, but, you know, they, it just bent back. And um, I hadn't noticed how bent it was. I might not have gotten it if I had seen that. Uh, but you know, if you have your doll in it, as long as it stands, you can't, you won't even be able to see it. And so, oh, it does have three. So it has these three, um, I mean four, these three, uh, white, a beige and a like wood, dark wood, and then a small beige one. And then it also has this, um, ornament holder. So I can definitely use that. Actually, I have an ornament that I've been wanting a holder for for Christmas. So that'll be perfect. And um, and then these others, you know, for just to display dolls, either um, when I go to the flea market or in my own home. Because, yeah, we have tools. My big kid. Did I tell you I'm a big kid? I think I've already mentioned that. If you follow me, you already know that. Okay, let's see what else is in the next box next to me. It's kind of big, so I'll go ahead and pull it up. <gasps> oh my goodness, for dollar for night, I cannot resist pugs. Now I gotta tell you, I follow um, a YouTuber. Her name is Ann Eckhart. And Eckhart, I believe it's Eckhart or Eckhart. Ooh, sorry, Ann, if you ever watch this video, if that mispronounced your name. But anyway, she I've learned a lot from her. I started following her when we used to sell on eBay years ago. And but she does all kinds of things. Um, you know, she's an entrepreneur and um, she has some pugs and she loves pugs. And when I saw this, I re it, it reminded me of her. And I thought, I don't know if it's complete or not. But you know what? If it isn't. <gasps> oh, my goodness. There I mean, it said wood pieces. But what the heck? What kind of pieces are these? Because, I, oh my goodness, look, they're in shapes of cats and dogs, some of them. Oh my goodness, others, I guess, are just random. That is too cute. Because my thinking was, if these are wood pieces, I can always use the pieces, you know, if it's not complete. But look, some of them look like little dogs and um, cats. Well, I came across a couple. Yeah, here's another one. Look at that. It looks like a little dog. So this is super adorable. I am going to have to definitely put it together and see if it's complete. And yeah, how adorable. For $1.50, I think this was an awesome deal. So if you're watching, and isn't that adorable? Okay, so that is the puzzle. Let's see what else. I'm just going through this bag here. Let me pull it up. That was the big thing in the bag. Let's see what else. Okay, there were these rolls of stickers for 49 cents. I thought that was a good deal. Sorry about the noise again. Um, I don't know how many are on there, but it was a complete roll. And these are all gingerbread men and and ladies, it looks like. So let me see if I can um, take this tape out carefully so I don't break the sticker under it and see how many different ones there are. Oh, there's a gingerbread house and i think that's where it starts so you have one two three four five six seven eight different stickers repeated several times so that is cute i'm thinking that might be nice happy mail 
or yeah just to put on envelopes and things like that okay and then there was a Santa one and I think there was one other one that for some reason did not appeal to me um don't think it was a snowman because I think I would have liked snowman oh it was like presents or something like that um and uh so I, I just want to show you all of them because that's what I do, you know? <laughs> so let's, I'm trying to get the sticker out. Ooh, I might have to sacrifice this one Santa, which I really don't want to do. And I think I got it. Awesome. So I'm thinking it'll be eight different ones. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And sure enough, it starts repeating itself up there. So you get these eight different ones. And... <laughs> Okay, you know what? If you watch till the end of the video, I'll let you know how maybe you can get one of these from me. Look at this. Isn't this adorable? It's a cat, right? It's a cat mug. And it was 79 cents. So I am putting together a little care package for my daughter. She loves cats, especially black cats. And I was thinking of like putting a face on this, um, like with vinyl or something. But I'm just going to leave it just like that and send it to her. And I think she will love it. Okay. So again, sorry for the crinkle. There's some stuff that is wrapped in paper. Because I did get a lot of mugs and things. For 49 cents, I got this votive holder. Because um, I've got a bunch of um, candlesticks. And I didn't realize it, that you could put this inside a candlestick to put a votive in there. I'd seen somebody do that somewhere. Maybe at a thrift store. I, I saw you know, it actually liked that. And that's why I got it for 49 cents. I thought it would be cute to put inside a candlestick. So there's that one. We'll put it upside down there. And here's another mug. It's just pretty. Now, if I got them for 79 cents and they were really pretty or I thought they were really pretty, I went ahead and grabbed them because for Christmas, and look, this is a Ralph Lauren um mug for christmas i'm thinking of making some little i've done this before in years past where you put hot cocoa and a little peppermint stick and you know just a couple of maybe cookies or something and make a little gift mug out of this and um it'd be great for gift giving or even if you know i'm sure i'm gonna do a church bazaar or something at least one this year um it's a you know be a cute little gift to sell for a low price point if I can get the mugs for less than a dollar. So, um, yeah, here I am again messing with the price sticker. Okay. Oh, my goodness. Look at this. Somebody had purchased this at Goodwill. Is that hilarious? That's a Goodwill sticker under there. Ah, <laughs> Goodwill sold it for 69 <laughs> And this place sold them for 79 They said, ha, we can get 10 cents more than the Goodwill. <laughs> Ah, it's the little things that make me laugh okay on to the next thing this is another cute one that would be actually a cute gift again 79 cents even by itself but you know it's not christmasy or anything it could be and in any time it's actually vintage it's 1986 and it does need some cleaning but um barkeep's friend works really well and i just bought some i've been meaning to do that for the longest time so look at that made in japan i didn't see any you know issues with it other than it needing cleaning and it says the lord is always by my side my gentle gentle shepherd constant guide my teacher master faithful friend his loving kindness knows no end really it just needs to be clean how cute is that now mug mates i'm thinking this might might have been one that had a top at one point i don't know but it's got, you know how the little lip curls up a little bit? So, I don't know. But I thought it was definitely a nice deal for $0.79. Cents. Okay, on to the next side. Let's grab this other one that has big stuff in it. Okay, I picked up these two signs. They had another one, but um, I like the Inspire and the Half Faith. They were $0.99 cents each. They're basically ready art. You just frame it. Now, I don't know if I have any frames exactly this um, size, but you, know, you can always just make a frame out of, you know, uh, pieces of, of wood. And we do have some pallet wood in the back. And I thought, huh, I don't know if I'll ever get around to it, but it'd be, be kind of cool to kind of make a frame for it. Or I may have a frame that fits it. I don't know. I doubt it, but, you know, we'll see if I ever end up doing it. Stay tuned. 
maybe in a couple of years you will see that project <laughs> okay then i picked up um i'm just being uh you know real here okay this little snowman um, did i say snowman i meant scarecrow because you know we are in that season and let me just cut this little string because it's driving me nuts already okay i'm not super ocd but when it hits me it hits me you know what i mean <laughs> okay so there we go and isn't he cute oh sorry you can't see his face so you can't see his face anyway because the hat is down but look at this what an easy fix just glue him up there and i was thinking um one of the, you know put a little flower probably a sunflower or something up here that would be awesome and he's ready to go and he was 99 cents and you know you can't get something you know this big anymore for 99 cents so that is adorable i will fix him up and put him somewhere in my house how cute is that all right then i picked up some um these are like those bags they sell these at the dollar store i believe but for 99 cents i got i believe three packages and it looks like they may be new ones yep 25 bags and you know these colorful ones it's neutral this one has been opened so even if there isn't 20 or whatever in there that's fine but look at that um, this one looks like may have been open too, but I'm, I'm sure I have more than 50 bags here for a dollar where at the Dollar Tree I would pay $1.25 for just, you know, 25 of them. So that was a good pickup. And do you guys use these or do you do anything with them? I'm, I'm curious. Let me know if you do. So I'll just leave it in there, but I'll probably end up just tossing them because I don't really do much with those. And if you hear some noise starting, it is my fan because I'm sweating over here. So I apologize if the home bothers you. Okay, then I picked this up for 79 cents. Again, this is a do some Dollar Tree stickers, but I'm getting, tw no, more than 12, like 18 of them here. 19, actually. Uh... Yeah, but 19 of them. Now, I haven't opened them to see if all the stickers are inside, but I don't see why they wouldn't be. And I just thought it would be nice to make in little gift packages or happy mail or maybe some some craft that I might make for if I ever do a craft show this year. Um, which, if I do, I'm late in the game in, you know, starting, but well, we'll see what happens. Okay, there's another one. I thought there was another one. And let me pull a couple of things out here. Okay. And th these are reindeer. So the one I left behind was just like some presents or ornaments. And I just, you know, I don't want to pay 49 cents for that when I was getting all these other cuties. Um, so let me, again, open it for you. Hopefully it won't take me too long. And I'm not editing this video because I'm recording it. Thursday morning so I apologize for all the you know slow moments but yeah you get these are the eight you get aren't they adorable too cute and then it starts repeating right there uh, right there yeah how cute so again stay to the end all right um, then for 99 cents, I couldn't resist this either. I love the packaging, you know. It's like a little suitcase. It's a backgammon game. I mean, it's not in the most excellent condition, but it's not bad. The container, you know, and it can be used for anything. It can be repurposed or whatever. But the game inside is actually in excellent condition. You know, it's not the, the highest quality, but it's all complete. You know, it's just plastic, and I believe this is magnetic. Okay, there we go. Um, some of the... Oh, no, it's here. It just needs to be glued back. I was going to say the magnets are not there, but... Um, let's see. Does it work? Yeah. So, it's, you know, they're not the strongest or best magnets. But look at that. It's repelling that one, so it works. <laughs> yeah, so for a dollar, a complete backgammon set with all the dice and everything. And I did count 15 pieces on each side. Um, it is, you know, a really good deal. So this is probably something I will try to flip before I try to do anything else with it because it actually is in really good condition. And let me stop myself right now. <laughs> I couldn't. Okay. I had to peel that off, didn't I? All right. 
And then look how adorable. So how much did I pay? 79 cents. It was originally at probably at Target. But, oh no, Joanne, it says. Joanne is originally $2.99. This is just staying with me because if you've been following me, you know I love squirrels. It's like uh I guess the one little animal that I kind of collect, other than llamas, I love llamas too, but this is, a squirrels are kind of special to me, and she's a chalkboard, so I can like maybe write little notes and, or something on either side, how cute is that, so she has stayed with me, I'm going to pop her right up here, and um, for now, alright, next bag, I'm trying to move quickly, although I am yappy, as you well know. All right, here's another bag. And, oh, yeah, these were fun. Look, Ray Dunn bowls. So, for 99 cents, I thought this was an awesome deal. I haven't decided yet if I'm going to keep them and use them in my decor this year or if I'm going to try to flip them. I'll see if, if they're, like, worth, you know, significantly more than what I paid. I might try to sell them. Otherwise, I think I'll just keep them at least for a year or two. <laughs> and they are so adorable. And I say they because, yes, I got two of them. Um, let me see if I can pop the other one out. Yep, here's the other one. And again, sorry for the paper crinkle. This one this does need some cleaning in there. Again, 99 cents. Ho, 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 and fa-la-la. Isn't that adorable? I love them. So there we go. This, I think, is another mug. Oh, yeah, look how cute. I think this might be a dollar store one. Uh, let me see if uh, I can pull this out. But, again, 79 cents. Can't get it. Can't get it for that at the dollar store anymore. Actually, you never could. It was a dollar. But it says Ashland. Um, so, yeah, I'm thinking this might have been dollar store or Target or something like that. But he's in perfect shape as far as I can tell. And he is just too cute. And I don't think I had one like this winking. So he is being added to my Christmas decor. I mean, I don't do a huge, a whole lot with Santa. But I, I do like a, I mean, a couple of Santas here and there. So there's another. Oh, wow. I had two of these. I've forgotten. There you go. Two uh, Ralph Lauren mugs. And, uh, oh, yes. These. So I was talking to my mother-in-law about my milk lack collection that I let go of in um, when I moved. And I had a few of these. I think I, I got rid of them. But um, if I did, I regretted it. And these are actually Anchor Hawking. But for $0.79 cents each, I went ahead and got all the ones they had. Um, they're a little discolored. It doesn't matter because I got these to use. Um, you know, for ice cream or pudding or whatever it is you use these little things for. And I think you can actually bake in them. Let me know if you know that. I'll have to look it up. But I believe I got six of them. I'm not going to take them all out. One, two, three. Um, well, maybe I am. Cause I don't know what's what. Okay, so there's three so far. I think I have like three more. But this is a mug. And once again, I apologize for the crinkly. Oh, look how pretty that is. I just got that because it was just so sweet. And again, I'm thinking of doing the, you know, the little gift mug thing. Um, and it's the same drawing on both sides. Totally today. I mean, nothing super special, but I just thought it was really pretty. For something like this with the plants, I thought it would be nice. Um, another alternative is to put like some foam, you know, uh, floral foam and put a little flower arrangement in here. Um, that would be cute too, if not, you know, the hot chocolate thing. And see, oh, actually, these bags might be perfect for the hot chocolate. No, they're a little bit too small. Okay. But um, that's what I've done before is use these bags, like this size, not in the, in this color, unless it was a plain mug. If it was a plain mug, then using this, you know, would be fine. It would make sense. But, you know, I would put a mug in here like this with your hot cocoa and, and, you know, peppermint stick or cookies, whatever. Look what a cute gift that makes. I did that one year for all the teachers when I was teaching. And um, I just, you know, put them out there as my little Merry Christmas. And they loved it. So that was fun. 
I mean, who doesn't love a mug? All right, moving on. Yeah, here's some more. Uh, okay, I think these are more of the white, white ones. Okay, that's my four. And I'm almost done. Thank you so much for sticking with me. All right, what's in here? Oh, again, sorry about the noise. Oh, yeah, look how cute. For 99 cents, these two little angels. And again, um, I like have Christmas stuff, you know, for four houses probably, but I could not resist. So I think they are a little bit vintage. It says made in Taiwan. And looks like I might have to clean them, but look how cute. One and two. And I just thought they were adorable. So those little guys will probably, you know, go next to one of my little Jesus figures or something on Christmas. <laughs> okay. And let's see. This is another one of the white ones. I'm not going to open it. I'm just going to put it there. And this is the, the last one. It was almost open. So, put it. so I did get one, two, three, four, five, six over here. And the last thing, ooh, let's open this together, is a Campbell's crossword game. Could not resist for 99 cents. Are you watching, Sherry? Sherry loves Campbell's. <laughs> but I think she likes the little kids, you know, the Campbell kids. I think she has a small collection of that. And, oh, it took us some of the paint, but oh well. I just wanted to see this. First of all, I love the can. But I wanted to see the game because I love word games. And then also, oh, look, here they are. Here's Sherry. <laughs> Here's your little kid. Look at that. She's like a little um, roller skate waitress. Isn't she adorable? Oh, my goodness. Is there more? So a couple more here. So mm -hmm, I'm thinking. <gasps> and look at this. Oh, this would be so cute to use in journals, right? If you do a little cooking journal or soap uh, soap soup journal <laughs> Ooh, has anybody made a soup journal that's an idea <laughs> i'm sure somebody has but look at these i don't know if I, they are, it is complete i'll have to count the cube but i thought they'd be fun even like um to take pictures of words and stuff you know but i'll see if my family wants to play they usually don't like word games but i love word games so <laughs> For a buck, can't go wrong. I'm already happy with it. I'm, I'm loving this. I might have to take a picture of all this so that I can use the original and keep the picture. Because, you know, copyright, I'm technically not supposed to copy it at all. But, um, yeah, I don't know. Scratch that. I never said that. <laughs> all right. So let me know what was your favorite item. And if you would like to receive one of those little stickers that... um. I shared with you earlier um, in your comment include the one of the three items the word reindeer snowman no not snowman reindeer Santa or what was the last thing uh, gingerbread okay so reindeer Santa or gingerbread include only one in your comment if you include more than one I'll know that you you didn't get this far and you're not or you're not entering for whatever reason um, and if you did, make sure I have your address, and in order to get me your address, you're going to need to email me, because I'm sure you don't want to put it in the comments. <laughs> All right? Thank you so much for watching. Definitely watch everybody's videos. I did not mention, I'm so sorry, that this is part of Thrifty Thursday, which is hosted by my friend Sherry of Turquoise Streaming, and I will have her video linked below. Have a blessed day, and until next time.